Hey everyone and welcome to the tutorial. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to create outlines from your strokes. This can be really handy for a lot of things, obviously you know what you need it for so that's why you're here. And I'll just show you how it's done real quick. So, go to the pen tool, just press P on the keyboard. I'll just draw a random shape. Obviously not what we want so I'll need to get rid of the fill. Just add stroke. Make this rock about 10 so I can see this better. And I'll zoom in. As you can see, the center of the line is the only bit with a path. And in this case, we don't want that. We want the outer edges to be paths and this to be fill. So what we do is get our selection tool, V in the keyboard or just select it here, go to object, path, and then go to outline stroke. This is your result. Now you can change the fill, you can even add a gradient to this if you really needed to, which is one of the main benefits of this. And there you go. And that's that. But another example would be, which I find the most used example that I do, so what I use most, I'll just type hello there. But it looks a bit skinny, so I'll go to bold, but it's not bold enough. So I add a stroke to this, maybe a stroke of two, change it to black, stroke of two to that, maybe make it four, so you look nice and chunky. So what I want to do is convert, the, create outlines from this, so I can add a gradient to the whole thing with it, with no stroke on the edge. But as you can see, I'll always have this stroke. When I add my gradient, <coughs> I'll have this. It's going to get in the way. So what I want to do: select all, go to object, path, go to outline stroke. You can see I've got so many different lines here I definitely don't want because this is going to get in the way of adding gradients again. So what I want to do is go to Pathfinder. If you can't see Pathfinder, just go to Window. Then select Pathfinder, wherever it is. Can't even find it. There it is. Yeah, just select Pathfinder. Or there's Shift Control F9, which I didn't know. And then, so select all of the selection tool and click this one here. This What this one does makes it a compound shape. Welds it all together or just merges it all. It gives you this. So you can add a gradient from there without the annoying without the annoying stroke. That's my tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it.